Hey everybody, Sinoka Buddha here. Um, just got this in the mail. Um, <laughs> I've been working with a guy on Trading Card Database, Dave. Um, he goes by Bird Fan. Um, anyways, he's been really like I've gotten really kind of into like oddball uh, uh, European and and uh, uh, like German and all these all these different kind of like non sports sets um, and. Dave contacted me a couple of weeks ago and was like, "Hey, I'm trying to I'm revamping what I'm doing, like changing his collecting focus," and, which I completely understand because um, I do that all the time as well. But uh, he's like, "I got I got I got some bunch of stuff I'll send you," and uh, so we kind of worked out something. I'm gonna send him a bunch of Phillies and Eagles stuff. Um, so I just got the package in the mail today, um, and so got a bubble mailer. Which I think I'm gonna totally reuse for his stuff. I need, and then a bunch of like stuff in and looks like pages in these flat rate envelopes. So let's see what's in uh, this goodie box. Oh, a bunch of packs. So it looks like a dual masters pack. My son will love that. Um, ooh, a 97, 98 Omega hockey. These are all unopened. Some adrenaline, some more, some Ghost Rider two, um, another Pacific Hockey, some Playoff Hockey, no oh, PGA Golf, oh cool, um, Talking Baseball with Brett on the front. If nothing else, I'm pretty sure I've got a a Royals collector that would love to trade me for something like that. And then uh, Skybox Double Vision. I don't ever remember seeing these. What year was this? 98. Hmm, that would have been the year I moved up here, so that doesn't surprise me. But, oh, I think it's huge. Steve McNair. Nice. These are cool. Number to 5,000. Let's go check and see if this one's on the training card database. <laughs> Those things are huge. I bet you there's a Brett Favre on that set I probably need. Um, so Dave said that uh, we've been going back and forth on trading card database because and adding checklists, especially for some of the oddball stuff. Uh, and he's led me to some great uh, uh, websites, and uh, I've, I've helped him adding checklists. So uh, we had some stuff. We start, he started a big trade on uh, trading card database. So these are cards in that he had listed for me. So. Oh, these are, I wonder if I have this set. I know I have one of the PBA sets. I don't know if it's the 90s Kingpin set, though. That's cool. Those are fun. Oh, and what are these? British Tobacco. Or maybe, oh, no, these are tea. These are Brooke Bond tea cards. Oh, these are awesome. I love, like, um, British, uh, you know, the British kept putting out tobacco cards and tobacco size cards and stuff for... I mean, I mean, they still might be doing it. I know they, there's a bit, there's a whole huge collector's market in, in Europe. Oh, space ones. These are neat. Are these more Brooke? Oh yeah, these are Brooke Bond. Um, Red Rose and Blue Ribbon. Oh, that's a nice set. That's beautiful. And some more of those. Wild Flowers. Another Brooke Bond. Oh, cool. These are old. I'm pretty sure these are German. Uh, movie cards. Oh man, good luck finding those. Ooh. Like Bulgarian cigarette cards. Make sure that's German. Maybe that's just the. Those are really cool. I'll have to feature some of these later. Well, I like the, I like the pocket page. <laughs> those are nice. There's some more. Rami. These are nice. I, at least now I can scan. I know Dave didn't have a scanner, so I can scan. If this checklist is already in, I can find them and um, scan a bunch of these and put them in the database, which is awesome. Um, uh, Dave Elton Builder on the World in Pictures. Um, these are. I'd have to look up the ages, but 
beautiful. I love, I love, I like, I really kind of like these, uh, the German, I don't, I don't know what these are called. I just call them German cards. They're kind of non-standard. Um, but they're more like, you know, a little bit bigger than tobacco size like these. Ooh, Westminster Tobacco, South Africa series. Very cool. Nice, nice. That's awesome. All right, another one of cards in transaction. Dave took the time out. I mean, so the great thing about trading card database is uh, the trade option. The problem I have is I don't have my needs listed or um, or what I have to trade. Uh, if you do, if you take the time to do that. Uh, the trading card database can actually match people up and, and kind of almost create trades. Um, these are like old Topps Fright from the 80s. And then a bunch of ooh, fighting Topps Fighting Marines. Oh, that's a cool card right there. Hans Bugman. Best of the World of Films. Arford Haas. That's a cool card, that gold gilt. I don't know if you can catch that on the... But that's pretty awesome. I can't wait to actually get in here and kind of go through all these. Um, I just... I've Since, like, it's been hard to find sports cards in general. Which one's that? Scoop. Nice. John Sullivan boxing card. That's pretty neat. Looks like more tops fight marine cards. Oh, that's so cool. Man, I uh, I, I put together uh, quite a large. I got two like uh, two flat rate boxes going to Dave. I hope <laughs> hope he likes it because it's like this is pretty eclectic. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. I'll go through these later. Cards not in transaction. Listed on database. He's got awesome stalwart stuff. Nice. Yeah, I love the old German. I've got a bunch. I, I, I bought a couple uh, albums earlier this year, I think, and I, I, I think I showed them off. Uh, just beautiful. beautiful. Um, these, these cards you actually got out of, I think, vending machines, German vending machines. I can't. I don't know the year off the hand, but this is what, what early nineteen hundreds, late eighteen hundreds, probably early nineteen hundreds. Um, but uh, let's see what album it's in. Album number ten. So that probably would have been uh, maybe nineteen ten. Oh, wait, here's yeah. Um, but I, I, I'm not sure exactly, but I think you got like a chocolate roll or something, and then it would also spit out a card or. Because um, these are kind of clean, I would I wouldn't think the actual chalk would be put on them. But um, and these are Churchman cigarettes, uh, Kings of Speed. Oh, it's a nice set too. Very cool. Very cool. And the last pack. So, sorry, I'm kind of going through them fast. I don't want to make this video super long. Um, and I also didn't look any of this stuff up, obviously, because I'm opening it as I go through it. So, this looks like more German. Yep, the world in pictures. Very cool. I love the trains. The trains are my like one of my favorite topics. Oh, I like these. Uh, one more, more world and pictures. And he's got a bunch of these too stuffed in here. I'll take those out and check them out. Oh yes, Merchant Ships of the World, Imperial Tobacco. That's a great set. I for me, like like a lot of the the British tobacco. For me, uh, the interest is all themed, and uh, transportation is one I really love. That I don't like dinosaurs, but. Uh, but that's kind of that's really cool. 
Love boats. And here's another. Here's warships. Which side is this? Unse Marine Schiffsbilder. Boat pictures. Man. So this is the group that was not listed and there's no checklist for. That's cool. Well, looks like I've got some hunting to do. Oh, planes. Nice. That's awesome. Some more probably oddball German stuff. Yeah. It's more of the same set. Looks like Flags of the World. The other ones are so, like... Deutsche Sport. Very cool. Found info in the, uh, this is in the catalog company. If you guys don't know, uh, there's a British company called the London Cigarette Company that still sells and has a lot of like guides and, and uh, catalogs. Um, you can buy stuff from them. They'll ship overseas. Uh, I've always kind of found it kind of cost prohibitive because it's expensive. Although if I ever got over to England again, um, I definitely would want to go check them out. Um, Leaders of Men. I can't believe this one's not. That's nice. He's got all the references for me too. Just a bunch of, oh yeah. I, I, God, that's so awesome. One of the things I dabbled with is just trying to do a type uh, set where I get as many different examples from stuff. So this is awesome. Like, I'm not super huge into making sure everything's complete. Um, except, I, oh, those are really neat. Those are like cloth. Hmm. Those are, those are pretty awesome. Will's large size. Some more boats. Oh, speed. I'm pretty sure this one's... I'm pretty sure I, I actually added that checklist. <laughs> I know I've got a bunch of those Olympic ones. Oh, that's neat. Some more German uh, cigarette cards. Oh, those are really cool, too. Those look... Almost felty. Abdullah. Yeah, Abdullah cigarette. Yeah, German. I think this is German sport. Oh. Schoenfeld. Schoenheiser? Oh. It's really German scripts. Deutsche Volkstrakken. Very cool. Just, oh, there's just so much here. Well, Dave, I want to say thanks um, if you end up watching this. Um, I've got your stuff kind of packed up. Uh, Dave said he was going to concentrate mostly on Phillies and Eagles stuff as sports teams. And so I pulled everything I've got for him. I don't know. I didn't really, after I see the whole stack, I was like, that is a lot. Holy cow. But that's pretty awesome. That's great. Um, wow, what a, that's gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna, it's gonna be fun to go through. I uh, hope I can keep everything straight. Um, but, uh, awesome. Thanks, Dave. Thanks again. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably might do an update video too once I kind of figure out everything that's here too. Um, but pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thanks.